Hey folks, welcome back. We are pulling out from the 7-Eleven here at uh, Stewart and Nellis. There was a large crowd of homeless people here a moment ago, right when I pulled up, and now they have dispersed for the moment. And we're gonna head out to westbound on here on Stewart. Some pedestrians here crossing the street, but we've got a six foot wide median still, so we can cross on our side safely. Welcome back, folks. The temperature here is about 89 degrees on this August, just about an hour before noon. It's uh, supposed to get up to about 110 to get today, uh, forecast 110 Fahrenheit. No rain in the forecast whatsoever. Today we're going to take a trip down to uh, U.S. Highway 95 and we'll take that down to where it merges or junctions with uh, Interstate 15. We're going to go south on Interstate 15. And this is the light here at Marion. I'm going to show you some neighborhoods here before we do hit the highway. Just a quick reminder, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. If we get up to over a thousand subscribers, YouTube will monetize the channel. We can use that to send our son to college. Totally free to you, no cost whatsoever. We also uh, post these up on TikTok. So if you're seeing this on TikTok, please do like and follow us on TikTok. We need to get up to 10,000 followers on uh, TikTok in order for them to monetize. But uh, again, it's totally free to you, no cost whatsoever. You can see some of these uh, houses here on the sides of Stewart. Looks like a, uh, might have been a pseudo IHOP at one point. It's now a tire shop. And another 7-Eleven there across the street. This is Lamb Boulevard. It's a major uh, north-south artery here in the east side of town. East side of Vegas, that is. It runs from Desert Inn all the way up to the edge of civilization, out uh, past the 215. Which, for the moment, is the edge of civilization out on the north side of town. Over here on the right, we've got uh, Stuart Lamb Plaza with all sorts of different shops, including, including Supermercado Los Compadres Numero Uno, right over there. And there's a Fred's Tavern right there on the corner, northeast corner. And there's a warning about road work ahead, but we should be okay. We're going to turn before that. And again, we splice these videos up, dissect them, put them up into one minute shorts up on YouTube. So if you're seeing this as part of a, a smaller short, please know that we do have the larger, longer version of these videos posted up as well. So please feel free to peruse our library. Leave it up uh, while you're cleaning the house or fixing the car for a little background noise on your Roku TV. at the light at Sand Hill, unless it turns on me, in which case I'll make the turn just before that. But it hasn't turned yet, so I'm going to take my chances. This is Vegas, so I'm going to gamble. Hope it doesn't change on me. The pedestrian crossing white sign is on, so looks like we're safe. Well, let's change now. And this is Sand Hill. Sand Hill is very disjointed. It has different segments throughout the valley that are not connected. So that makes it fun when trying to get from one point of town to the other. Sand Hill that ends up here, just before where it would meet Charleston. You see some more of these homes here in the older part of town. Link fence looks like it's been taken out by a vehicle of some sort. And uh, makeshift carport there. And again, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos if we get up to over a thousand subscribers. YouTube will monetize the channel. We can use that to send our son to college. Totally free to you. And please like and follow us on TikTok if you're seeing this on TikTok as well. We really, really appreciate it. And again, another older part of town. 
there's often lots of bounce houses over here on the weekends for uh, birthday celebrations. This guy has a Raiders sign out in front of his house. Here as we approach the light of Charleston Boulevard, another, looks like a mid-century looking house there. here on the right side, on the left side, rather, on the east side of what is now Sacramento. We're on Sacramento here. And there's a house right on the corner, very busy corner, so you can imagine they're not going to be happy about all the noise. And there used to be a Pep Boys right here, but for some reason it has since closed right there. Charleston right now is undergoing a major reconstruction as the uh, as is the US 95 so they are uh, making all sorts of havoc wreaking all sorts of havoc here with the uh, traffic and the shifting of the traffic lanes and etc so it's been quite a nightmare here for those of us on the east side of town and it's not supposed to be over anytime soon it's supposed to be uh, adding a lane to the US 95 up there that uh, Overpass you see there, that is the 95. You see some of the homes over here on the right. And right here at the northeast corner of US 95 and Charleston Boulevard. La Puerta Negra is right there on the left hand side. Looks like a liquor store maybe. considered to be northbound on US 95, but we're actually going to head west to Interstate 15 so that we can hook up with that and head south on the 15. So we're heading back. For the moment we're heading north, but the highway will curve up here in just a moment and it'll cross over there at Stewart where we just turned off of. There is no interchange at Stewart, so we have to come down to Charleston to get on. The car still says it's 89 degrees out. It's supposed to be finished with this construction hopefully sometime next year, I think it is. But like everything else, the whole town tends to be under construction at the same time. see downtown Las Vegas coming into view here as we begin to head west. And with it being morning, the sun is shining off the eastern ends of these buildings, so you can see them a lot more clearly than you have in the previous videos when we've been driving in the afternoon and the sun's been on the other side of these buildings. Let's take a look at some of the apartments and stuff over here off to the right. Just north. US 95. This is the interchange with Eastern Avenue. Again, another major north south artery goes all the way down to Henderson into Anthem, which is pretty much as far south as you can get in Sparata, that area. And it goes into North Las Vegas, becomes Civic Center Drive, and then kind of terminates unceremoniously north of, I believe it's Craig, into like an industrial district. They just finished this section of 95, I want to say maybe two years ago, and that was a nightmare because it was all throughout the interchange up here with 15, and it took forever to get through here. A lot of folks with short fuses, and of course it had to happen during summer when it's nice and warm out. And just a quick reminder, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. If we get up to over a thousand subscribers, YouTube will monetize the channel, and we can use that to send our son to college. Totally free to you, no cost whatsoever. And if uh, you're seeing this on TikTok, please also like and follow us on TikTok. we got to get up to 10,000 followers on TikTok, and we will 
definitely do our best to get up there. And now we're coming up towards the mostly congested area, although right now, this being a Saturday, I don't think it's gonna be that bad. We're gonna go south on the 15. This interchange, in my humble opinion, as we look here at downtown Las Vegas, Fremont Street, it's very poorly designed. It should have like two lanes at least going off to the side here that stretch back for at least a quarter mile, or I'm sorry, maybe a mile to prepare you for getting over, but they give you a very short window, like right here, in order to be able to get over to go south on the 15. And that just creates all sorts of jams, people slowing down and trying to go to get over and cutting each other off. So they do have the two lanes here, but you just need a much longer acceleration ramp or exit ramp when leaving the 95, in my humble opinion. heading south here towards the Strip. Most of the Las Vegas Strip is not located within the city of Las Vegas. It's located within Clark County. That's because back in the good old days, a lot of the uh, early casino operators did not want to be subjected to the city of Las Vegas' rules and ordinances. So they built just outside the city limits in Clark County HOV lanes, that's been a major source of contention here in town. A lot of folks don't like them. In fact, there's a uh, an effort right now to have them removed within the next year or two. Don't know if that's going to happen. You see the stratosphere there on the left? The stratosphere marks the unofficial beginning of the north end of the strip. And all of these high rises, a lot of these that you see here surrounding the strat here are private uh, condominiums. But then you come down here to Resorts World and the Encore. And of course, those are hotel, resort, casinos. And Little Darlings, which has some rather clever marketing on its sign there. From time to time. And again, if you're seeing this on TikTok, please like and follow us. We really appreciate it. Palace Station, one of the station casinos located throughout the town here, is right here off the right um, at the exit just off the exit from Sahara and I-15. And again, also on YouTube. If you're seeing this on YouTube, please like and subscribe to us so we can continue making more of these videos. We get up to over a thousand subscribers, YouTube will monetize the channel, and we can use that to send our son to college. Totally free to you, no cost whatsoever. As we look at the strip skyline starting to develop there. Tropicana Boulevard is a road is currently closed because they're doing what they're calling drop mechana to uh, totally redefine and redesign that uh, interchange there. We're going to get off here at Spring Mountain. Chinatown. It's right. Area 15, a very popular place it's become. I have not been there yet, but I hear there's some quirky, fun stuff that goes on in there. And that's where it's at, right here at Spring Break. I'm sorry, Spring Mountain, right there. Spring Mountain and the I-15, and you go west here on Spring Mountain. See the Bellagio, Cosmopolitan there on the left side. Chinatown. 
just on the west side of the strip. I mean, this isn't even maybe a mile away from the strip. I wouldn't suggest walking it though, especially in the summer, it's gonna be extremely hot. And there you can see some of the architecture. Krung Siam right there. Kung Fu, Thai and Chinese restaurant. And further down there is the Palms, that's off of Flamingo Road. But uh, this is called the Center at Spring Mountain, the shopping center on the left. And over here on the right we've got Fire Station 15, Clark County Fire Station 15. Authentic Chicken Pho and Bar. So again, if you're looking for something maybe more authentic, than might, what you might find down on the strip. Chinatown being here, I, I mean, it's it's maybe, it's no more than two miles tops. Maybe in the cooler months of the year it might be uh, better to try and walk it, but uh, an Uber would probably be best advised. This is the light here at Valley View, Valley View Boulevard. Spring Mountain is a major east-west artery. It goes all the way out, I believe, out to uh, just south of Summerlin. And then it kind of has some disjointed parts here on the east side of town as you look more at the uh, architecture here for Chinatown on the south side of Spring Mountain. much the extent of Chinatown here in Las Vegas. And again, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. If we get up to over a thousand subscribers, YouTube will monetize the channel for us and we can use that to send our son to college. If uh, you're seeing this on TikTok, Please like and follow us on TikTok as well. It's totally free to you, no cost whatsoever. And we've got a left turn on green here only, so we'll wait our turn. At this light at Arville Street. And over here on the right, there's a PT's hub, one of many, located here throughout town. They uh, offer gaming in addition to uh, drinking, gaming slash gambling. Car now reads 104 degrees, so it's been a little bit behind the times, but. With it being about a quarter past 11 a.m. here, 104 is a pretty hot temperature already. And there you can see the palms straight ahead. skyscraper there. I'm going to make a left here on the Twain. So looks to be a trailer park there on that corner. And the Orleans, which is located up there on the right, once this box van passes, Orleans is on the uh, corner of Tropicana and uh, Arville here. It is uh, just west of the Strip, on the other side of I-15. Not sure if you'd want to try and walk it. <clears throat> One of the misconceptions about the, uh, the Strip is that it's easy to walk. It's really not. It's about four miles long. And each casino itself is huge, for the most part. So it takes you a while to walk through each casino and then come out and go up to the next one. So. Bring your walking shoes for sure. Now on the back side of the 
Chinatown Shopping District. And just a quick reminder, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. If we get up to over a thousand subscribers, YouTube will monetize the channel. We can use that to send our son to college. Totally free to you, no cost whatsoever. And this is interesting, I don't know if it's going to come out in the video, but the uh, Treasure Island there, you can kind of see its size is kind of dwarfed by the Wynn and the Palazzo there behind it. And it's weird when you stand right in front of Treasure Island, it looks huge. And then you put it up in comparison to those two buildings and it's like not as big as you might have thought. Or at least as big as I would have thought. We're going to make a right here on the Valley Valley View. And there you can see the Rio. Rio is currently under Caesar's management, but that's supposed to be changing uh, come, I believe, October. Dreamscape, I believe, is the name of the company. It's supposed to be taking over for Caesars here. And they promised a multi million dollar remodel. And across the street here is Gold Coast, which is a much smaller casino hotel. We're going to go in here to the Rio. See the, just a little peak of the high roller there, just beyond the building, in front of us. And we're going to go ahead and cut off the video here. Just a quick reminder, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos if we get up to over a thousand subscribers. YouTube will monetize the channel for us and we can use that to send our son to college. Totally free to you, no cost whatsoever. Thank you to all who have already subscribed. We really appreciate you. Really grateful for all of you that uh, tune in and take the time to like and, and uh, subscribe. It really means a lot. And if you don't like what you see, please do. Please leave a comment and let us know what we can do to improve. We're always looking to improve. Head back up here to Twain, and then I'm going to cut it off. So happy Saturday, everyone. Have fun. We'll see you soon.